Hawks. Welcome to Mrs. R's Library. Today, this week, I am going to read from The Big Umbrella by Amy June Bates. We've been having some rain and even some snow here in Reno, and I just thought it would be a nice way to revisit this book. By the Front Door. What do we see? A big red umbrella. There is an umbrella. And we see a little kid with a rain slicker on looking to go outside. It is big. Looks like the umbrella's big, but the city is even bigger. It is a big, friendly umbrella. I like the smile on the umbrella. It likes to help. It's actually sunshiny outside in this picture and the leaves are falling, but the umbrella prevents the leaves from falling on the head of the little kid that's holding it. It likes to spread its arms wide. Look at how the kid's walking with the umbrella over his or her head and his arms are spread wide. It loves to give shelter. What does shelter mean? It means covering, covers you, keeps you from all the things that could fall down on your head like leaves or rain or snow. It loves to gather people in. Have you ever shared an umbrella with a friend or family member? It doesn't matter if you are tall. Look at that. Those are some darn big feet, huh? Reminds you of Big Bird on Sesame Street. Or Harry. You guys know that Mrs. R loves Star Wars. That looks a little like Chewbacca. Or Plaid. The coat that that child is wearing is plaid. It doesn't matter how many legs you have. You guys know Mrs. R has two dogs, right? And they're four-legged creatures in my house. Some people worry that there won't be enough room under the umbrella. Look at how big it's become. But the amazing thing is, there is. There is always room in this big, big umbrella. And look, the sunshine comes out. There is always room. So, Huffaker Hawks, what does that remind you of? Does that remind you of, well, it's an umbrella. But are there other things in your life that always have enough room? Maybe during this whole coronavirus, it's our houses, our apartments. They give us shelter. They protect us from all the rain and weather outside, right? And there's always room for one more family member or friend to come in. Maybe it's like that, or like our classrooms. There's always room for one more student, a new student, a transfer student, like the big umbrella. I hope that this week finds you all well in your houses. We're all stuck here in our house as well. <laughs> Reading books, I encourage you, please pick up a book, you guys. I hope you have some at your house. Maybe revisit an old favorite, and I will upload another video for you guys. Guess what? I ordered some No David books, and there's a new one called David Smells. It's coming. You'll see it in the next few weeks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.